Hey guys, we are Group B1 and welcome to our video on waveguide filters. Almost all waveguide filters use something called LC resonant circuits. So what is an LC resonant circuit? Well, it's basically a circuit in which a capacitor and inductor are placed together. And the capacitor tries to force a change in current, the inductor tries to force a change in voltage. Um, it can also be described as while the capacitor is discharging, uh, the voltage difference between the two plates decreases and the inductor is trying to resist this change. This results in an oscillation movement of the current at a frequency known as the resonant frequency and the equation for which is shown on the screen right now. Uh, the, re the resonant frequency can also call, can be called a uh, passband. Uh, another interesting fact about LC resonant circuits is that um, a resistance of zero the current will oscillate forever as there is no energy loss. There are various applications of waveguide filters, but today we will be focused on common applications. One such ap application uh, are waveguide filters used in microwave ovens to eliminate uh, harmful uh, noises created by the, the magnetron and to shield the outside environment from microwave radiation. Additionally, the magnetron produces frequencies which impact performance of nearby electronics. Thus, various uh, measures are taken when designing a microwave oven. For instance, broadcasting satellites operate on, a fre on frequency bandwidths in, in the range from 11.7 GHz to 12.7 GHz, while ovens operate at a fre frequency of 12 uh, GHz to 12.5 GHz, resulting in interference. Another application are uh, optical waveguide filters used to provide a means of uh, bringing fiber optic cables into a shielded enclosure while maintaining the enclosure's radio frequency isolation integrity. What is Open EMS? Open EMS is an open source electromagnetic FDTD field solver. The software uses multi-threading, SIMD, and MPI support for high-speed, efficient FDTD calculations. For our project, we will be using OpenEMS through a MATLAB interface to simulate electric fields which we will use to explain filters used for electromagnetic frequencies of various ranges. The first step to performing the simulation is initialization. This consists of three main steps. The first one involves setting up the simulation parameters, that is the dimensions of the waveguide. The second one involves setting up the FDTD function, which is related to temporal excitation and boundary conditions. And the last one involves initializing the mesh that describes the whole structure using the setup CSXCAD mesh function. The next step to simulation is defining the ports. First, we describe the start and stop points in each direction, and then we use the add rec waveguide function to define two ports, one with T mode 1 and the other being a passive port. The last step is to define the physical and non-physical structure primitives, after which we can run the program. Post-processing involves finding the S parameter using the calc port function, the impedance at each port, and the magnetic and electric field values at any point through the dump box we created earlier. Finally, the results portray the S parameter values, the impedance values, and the electric field through the waveguide. Microwave filters are required in many communication circuits. Many structures have been introduced for microwave filters, which utilize micro strips or waveguides. In this paper, a new structure is proposed for microwave filters. This structure utilizes a waveguide filled by several dielectric layers. The proposed structure is a multi-layer longitudinally inhomogeneous waveguide, otherwise known as LIW. In this study, the relative electric permittivity and the length of the layers are optimally obtained using least mean square method. A bandpass filter is used to control the frequency of the wave. As seen in the graph, the function S12 has a bandwidth from 9.4 GHz 
to 10.6 GHz. And that brings us to the end of our video on waveguide filters. Thank you for watching.